Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. It is 3.20 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, November 2nd, 2011. And I'm here on the Japan Atomic Industrial Forum Incorporated's website, the JAIF, and since the Fukushima meltdown, they've been issuing reports and alerts literally every day or multiple times per day. And this was just released today, the Earthquake Report 253. I went ahead and opened it up, and it's containing not good information, unfortunately. Xenon has been detected in reactor number two. Xenon suggests possible nuclear fission, which basically means meltdown is occurring in reactor number two at Fukushima. Now, I've been covering this for a long time. People, if you want to go back in my videos, I drove across the United States taking baseline measurements so we can see what the levels are and measure those in the future to see if there's any change. Also, I have a litany of links. Let me go ahead and open these up here. I've got a few that you should really see right now. Black Cat Systems is one. It's a series of Geiger counters. People that have purchased Geiger counters hook them up across the world, and they hook them up USB on their computer, and you can see what the readouts are inside the homes, businesses, wherever these are located. Now, on this particular site, alert level is 28 microsieverts, I think, um, or is it millisieverts? Uh, they have the range listed right here, and of course, if you see it go above 28, that's something you're going to basically want to keep an eye on, see if it elevates or decreases. Also, I have a link to another site. Let me go ahead and pull that. It's uh, Radiation Network. And it's basically the same thing, but it does it in a counts per minute basis. They consider anything over 100 an alert level. So you can watch the map here. They also have a few other uh, spots here, so you can click on Japan. They have a few in Japan, a few in Alaska and Hawaii, Europe, not too many in Europe. But also, what I like about this map is it shows you in the U.S. where all the nuclear reactors are laid out. And I don't know if it shows it globally. Let's see. Yes, it also has them marked in Japan, and let's see if they have them in South America. A few in South America as well. All right. Well, just definitely watch these links. Keep an eye on the situation. But unfortunately, this is not good news, first of all, for the people of Japan, and second of all, for the people of the world. It's another reactor that's melting down, confirmed. So hang in there, folks. If you get any other links or if you see this reported in the mainstream news, please definitely let me know or post the link down below in the comments field.